Okay, skill number one, laws of thirds. What we're going to do is we, over the course of this playlist, we're going to investigate the four operations with thirds, but we're going to start off with some simple multiplication and division laws, and then we'll do a little bit more with multiplication and division later on. So we're going to check to see if these things are all true. Okay, so I'm going to work on just this left-hand side to begin with. Well, the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. And now I'm going to work on this side, the square root of 64 is 8. Okay, so 4 times 2 is 8, so this is true, which means this original one here is true as well. Okay, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 36 is 6. Yeah, 2 times 3 is 6, so that means this thing is true. Look what's happening here. If you do 16 times 4, you get 64. If you do 4 times 9, you get 36. And we can check it with this last one. Let's check that 25 times 9, yeah, is 225. That times that is that. Well, let's just check it's true, though, to begin with. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of 25, we did that one just earlier on, the square root of, sorry, of 225 is 15. Is 5 times 3 15? Yes, it is. So this one is true. So what does this tell us? This tells us that if you have the square root of one number and you multiply it by the square root of another number, it's the same thing as the square root of these two numbers being multiplied together. The square root of 16 times the square root of 4 is the same as the square root of 64, which is the square root of 16 times 4. 16 times 4 is 64. So this is our first law that we have. That the, you can put the, uh, the square root sign. If they're being multiplied, you can put the square root sign over the both of them and have them being multiplied. The second part of this law is going to be a similar sort of thing that we're testing, but we're going to test it with division. So I'm going to begin by looking at this part that I've got here. So I'm going to do 100 divided by 25. Well, that's not difficult. 100 over 25 is just going to be 4, right? So the left-hand side is the square root of 4, and the right-hand side is going to be the square root of 100. Well, the square root of 100 is 10, and the square root of 25 is 5. Okay, I better do another line of working here. The square root of 4 is 2. Is 2 the same as 10 divided by 5? Yes, it is, which means that thing there must be true as well. Okay, let's have a look at this one. We'll do the 64 divided by 4 inside that square root. And 64 divided by 4, let's quickly get this here. Oh yeah, that's 16. And if I do these bits separately, if I do the square root of 64 and the square root of 4, the square root of 64 is 8, and the square root of 4 is 2. Okay, well, let's do this part again. The square root of 16 is 4, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Yeah, that one's true, so this must be true. And you can see where this is going. So I'm just going to do this one that we've got over here. We're going to do the square root of a quarter. Okay, I might put that one on the calculator in a second. So we can say the square root of a quarter. Well, I can do the square root of 1 and the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 1 is 1, because 1 times 1 is 1, and the square root of 4 is 2. So I think that the square root of a quarter must be a half. We actually looked at that one earlier on, but I'm just going to show that to you, that the square root of a quarter is indeed a half. So this is true, that means this is true. So what does this tell us? This tells us that if you have something that's a fraction like this, with one number being divided by another number, it's the same thing as doing the square root of that number divided by the square root of the other number. These two things are all equivalent to each other, okay? You're going to need to know this because it's going to help us on skill number two. I'm going to put a little box around this, which is about simplifying thirds, okay? But this is the first thing that we need to know is that you can do this property and this property here. Found this video helpful? Then why not drop it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like the next video in the playlist, you can click here to be taken straight to it. And as always, wishing you the very best for all your studies.